This is a weekend strong men and women get to live the lumberjack life. The annual Loggers Jamboree celebrates a heritage that no longer exists in the Foothill community of North Fork. This is the 53rd year Loggers have made chainsaws sing in the land of tall timbers. The Jamboree has a twofold purpose. Keeping the logging it's tradition going done. and the second thing on is one, this rec center on is for our two. kids in our community here. Everything is free. They got the swimming pool, they got lifeguards, they have games, they have softball, baseball, basketball. It's amazing what these guys with Popeye arms can do with a powerful chainsaw. They begin by punching a hole in the center of the log. Then they cut the top half and then the bottom half. It's no easy feat. A five-point flip side for Nathan Hodges. One of the more popular events at the Jamboree is the axe throw. Jim Taylor makes a living selling big hand saws, but he still likes to compete. I've thrown the axe at least seven or eight times since then. And the funny part about it was that I wasn't aiming at the bullseye, I was aiming about a foot to the left. North Fork used to be a logging community, but the sawmill has been silent for years. The community will always be proud of its past. Well, it's very important for our, to keep our logging heritage going. Um, this is a huge logging community. I, I'm a, my, my father was in logging for 45 years. The loggers jamboree isn't just for guys. The ladies can hold their own tossing an ass. Every event is exciting and for the competitors, exhausting. The loggers jamboree started in 1959 to raise money for the recreation center. 53 years later, the event is still funding summer programs for kids.